crackle of electricity fills the air as a bolt of lightning snakes down from the gloomy skies above. In an instant, the superheated plasma strikes your unprotected body, unleashing its devastating power. The very air itself explodes around you with a thunderous boom. What happens next? Well, let's explore the potential outcomes and impacts in extensive detail. When the lightning initially hits, you'll experience an extraordinary surge of electricity overwhelm your nervous system. Up to one billion volts can course through your body. The shock will likely blast you unconscious or into paralysis. You may even experience sudden cardiac arrest or respiratory failure from the extreme jolt to your heart and lungs. Assuming you survive the initial lightning blast, you next face the threat of thermoelectric shock. The scorching heat can instantly boil your blood, cook your organs, and char your skin and tissues. Temperatures can briefly soar as high as 50,000 degrees Fahrenheit. The explosion of superheated steam inside your cells will mangle membranes and proteins. The blast rips through flesh, fusing scraps of fabric to seared skin in a gruesome display. Searing pain envelops every fiber of your being. That is, if your nerves haven't already shut down from overwhelming torment. As the debris rains down around your limp body, the true aftermath begins. If you avoided instant death, you likely faced devastating systemic damage and disability. Let's survey the carnage systematically, starting with your skin. Lightning often leaves feathering burns, tracing the entry and exit wounds. The bizarre Lichtenberg figures etched on the skin reveal the path electricity took through your vascular system. Even if the bolts miraculously missed your external organs, thermal radiation can still burn tissue layers deep under the skin. Watch out for ruptured blood vessels, swollen limbs, and compromised circulation. Poor blood flow can lead to rotting flesh and gangrene. Not pretty. Speaking of ugly outcomes, your nervous system likely took a heavy hit too. You may suffer paralysis or lose control of normal bodily functions. Nerves governing movement and sensation can short circuit, leaving you writhing in pain or struggling to walk. If you're lucky, you escape paralysis, seizure, stroke, or coma after the neurological haywire, but you might still battle headaches, memory loss, attention deficits, insomnia, and chronic pain for months or years to come. Zapping your neural network is no joke, and if charred skin and scrambled neurons weren't bad enough, consider your organs next. The extreme electrical currents can readily pierce lungs, hearts, guts, and more. You risk ruptured eardrums and eyeballs too. Such internal laceration rapidly escalates threats of hemorrhage, infection, and body-wide shock. Your kidneys may shut down completely from electricity or subsequent trauma. Hearts seized by the lightning blast may fall into a non-life-sustaining rhythm, necessitating resuscitation or a pacemaker. Lungs often suffer pulmonary contusions with fluid buildup or lung collapse. If you don't drown in your own fluids first, you may acquire pneumonia or ARDS later. No vital system escapes the wrath of lightning unscathed. Let's not forget the psychological impact either. Victims lucky enough to physically recover still describe personalities forever changed after the accident. Some battle anxiety, depression, irritability, or PTSD for years post-lightning strike. The sanity stretching experience can break one's mind just as severely as the body. Loss of emotional control, hypervigilance, and intense fear of weather persist long after burns heal and bones mend. Bolts from the blue may spark equally turbulent storms within. And for those pregnant victims who miraculously deliver a living baby, negative effects may pass down to the next generation too. Case studies show elevated risks of physical or mental disability in babies born from lightning strike survivors. Fetuses subjected to currents and boiling blood aren't likely developing normally. Sadly, the apple may not fall far from the electrocuted tree. In the chaotic aftermath, you certainly require intensive medical intervention after lightning's wrath. Myriad complications demand months, if not years of treatment, therapy, and rehabilitation. Few escape entirely unscathed, in body or mind. Many don't escape the initial blast at all, perishing instantly. With odds of death hovering around 30%, survivors clutch to life by a delicate thread, if not by the skin of their teeth. The extensive trauma easily stacks up medical bills in the hundreds of thousands for the lucky recovery cases. And even then, 
pain and disability may persist indefinitely given the lack of effective treatment options. Adaptation to lasting impediments poses lifelong challenges ahead. The scorched reminders etched on victims' bodies and minds serve to immortalize Lightning's deadly legacy. So in summary, whoa mama. Getting zapped ranks amongst the most intense ways a human body can wildly malfunction and devastatingly fail. Yet a slim fraction somehow endure Lightning's wrath unbelievably. But beastly burns, lasting disabilities, psychological distress, and costly care mark the sacrifice of their survival. Perhaps it's best just to stay safely indoors until storms pass, yeah? One less crispy critter sounds wise to me.